everybody. How's it going? I'm Brad Scott. I'm Christina Timberlake. I'm Joe Peterson. And we were just sitting here talking about nutrition and why people have such a hard problem with their nutritional habits. And we were just talking about when you go out to eat, and Christina had some great information to share. Uh, since when you go out to eat, restaurants are trying to get you to come back. So they're going to get as much on a big plate as they can for you to eat. They want you to come back. They want you to be stuffed. They want you to say, oh, that was so delicious. Most of the time, people don't need to eat that much. So before you even start eating, ask for a to-go box, put half in your to-go box, set it off to the side. Now you have your dinner, and then you got your lunch for tomorrow. And that's a great I never even thought about doing that myself, because when I go out to eat, I eat it all. <laughs> I make sure that I clean my plate. I never even thought about asking for a to-go box as soon as I sit down. So that's pretty cool. That's great stuff right there. Um, and, uh, and it's funny because in other countries, we are the only country that feeds people the way we do. You go in any other country, they don't have super-sized 64,000 ounce super goats. They give you a glass of Coke and it's about that big, or a glass of tea, milk, juice, whatever it is. You ask for a burger and they have a burger. They don't have double, triple, quadruple, triple stacks. And, you know, they always serve, a lot of the restaurants overseas serve fruit instead of uh, fries, and it's uh, amazing why we're the fattest country when we eat like that. And you can supersize everything for 39 cents and get a lot more lard and fat. <laughs> but, you know, some of the, we'll talk about some of the, the proper eating habits, Joe, and, and why eating less will help, will make you gain weight. Uh, when, you, when you eat less or less often, your body will stay hungry, and then when you do eat, your mind is under the impression that it's not going to eat for it, that your body's not going to get enough food for the day. So then your body wants to stockpile that food. And it stores it in the form of fat because that's how your body gets energy is by burning fat. And ultimately, uh, the less you eat, the less you feed your metabolism. And when your metabolism slows down, you gain weight. And, and that's a, a great point because a lot of people don't realize, and, and I hate to say it, but a lot of, of uh, People who think that they're trainers and they haven't really gone through the certification, education processes, and some of the weight loss places, they they they, they steer people in the wrong direction, They're telling them to eat less, eating below what their daily the caloric requirement is just for resting, which puts their body in the starvation mode. And they're like, well, I'm barely eating throughout the day, and yeah, but what you're eating, you're you're storing as fat because. Your body thinks you're trying to starve it, and your body's a fighting machine. Uh, what are like some of the breakdowns of the meals that, that people should be pursuing? Um, you should try to eat well-balanced meals, which you should never cut out. Like, a lot of people, I don't eat any carbs. Well, your carbs are your primary source of energy. That's what you use in the day-to-day, -day, you know, just walking around, being yourself. So you can't deprive yourself of something like that. You just need to make sure that when you eat, everything's well-balanced. You need your carbs, you need your protein.
lot of people out there, they work throughout the day, and, and they're like, oh, I can't eat because I'm working and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. So what, how would you recommend people pack for the day if they know that they're going to be out and about? Um, I always do this when 